Hey there, this is Amber from Local Beats. Um, just wanted to shoot this really quick screencast for you. So sorry for the delay. Things have been just a little bit crazy with the holidays and COVID, crazy things happening. So I just wanted to shoot this screencast to you for you. And really what I'm going to be doing is going over three ways in which you can grow and scale your business online, generate more traffic online, and as a result, get more clients in the door. So nonetheless, I will jump right in. Really quick disclaimer, keep in mind these are things that you can actually do on your own as well. So there's in no way, shape, or form any pressure. This is really just information to help you and your business. And if you want to touch base after, awesome. If not, that's totally okay too. So I have your website pulled up here. It looks like it's actually currently maybe being worked on. Um, what you do have so far, I think, is extremely captivating. I love the huge photo. Um, it's very um, eye-grabbing, attention-getter, I should say. One thing I highly recommend, and one of the one things that Google looks at when it comes to ranking your website, is making sure you have a lot of content on your front page and on your back pages. This is one of the number one things that Google looks at when it comes to ranking and scaling your website and getting you in the top position of Google. They generally recommend around 1500 words on your front page and then around 700 words on your back pages. So just keep that in mind as you are getting your website built that you make sure you have a lot of content on there. And I'll go into a little bit more detail regarding that as well. So I have your top competitor pulled up here. So whenever I Google landscaping in Lakeland, this is the number one person that shows up. It's Creative Edge. So this is their website. Not sure what's going on with the gray here. I don't know if it's just not loading or it looks like they service in Lakeland, Plant City, Arbondale, Central Florida area. They really don't have a whole lot of content. I mean, they do have a good amount, but I don't think they're at the 1500 mark. So this is definitely an area of opportunity for you um, to, again, just get a good amount of content on your front page. And then your second top competitor is Evolve. They're out of Bartow, but it appears they service in the Central Florida area as well. They are highly ranked also in Lakeland. So again, this is their front page. Or no, this is their front page. They really don't have a whole lot of content either. So this is a wonderful opportunity for you, again, just to beat them in that area. The second thing I want to go over with you is kind of the back end of your website. So we use this tool, it's called AREFs. I know it looks extremely overwhelming, but don't be overwhelmed. This is something that we use to help us see the ins and out of a website. So where it's ranked, where it's been previously, what's what it's going to take for you to rank in the top position of Google. So I wasn't able to pull up your website. Nothing was showing in this area right here, which is really what we're going to focus on because it appears that the website is new. So I'll just show you what your top two competitors look like and what it's going to take for you to beat them in this area. So again, don't get too overwhelmed. I'm just going to go over a few things here. So one thing I want to look at with you is this UR and DR. So what UR stands for is the amount of power and influence the website has. And this DR stands for how trustworthy this website is. So are there a bunch of spammy links referring back to this site or are they good credible links, which I'll go into. So you want these, both of these numbers to be high and close together. The closer, the better. Um, and what really influences these two numbers are backlinks. So what a backlink is, is pretty much when another website gives credit to your website. Um, no backlink is the same. And in this situation, quality is way better than quantity. So you would rather have a couple good quality links referring back to your site, meaning these websites have a lot of power and a lot of influence versus having a bunch of spammy links referring back to your site. So in this situation, it looks like this website has a lot of power, but they don't have a lot of trust, which tells me a lot of these links are probably spammy. So that's an opportunity for you to come in, get some good quality links referring back to your site and beating them and getting ranked in Google. Your second top competitor, again, it looks like they're pretty low actually, so they really don't have a whole lot of power and they have more trust than power. I'm not able to see, actually, let me fix this. Okay, here we go. So it looks like 
There's a huge opportunity for you here. I could definitely see you beating them. It looks like they really don't have a lot of power and they really don't have a lot of trust either. So, um, or they actually have more trust than power. Um, and they actually have a lot less backlinks than the first competitor. So it just goes to show quality is way better than quantity in this situation. Another thing I want to go over with you, which is really going to help put things in perspective for you, is what's called keywords. Um, what a keyword is, it's pretty much a highly ranked and searched word in Google. So for instance, um, landscaping in Lakeland, Florida, this one keyword is searched about 150 times per month. Um, so that's a lot of potential for clients and traffic for your website and your business if you were to be ranked. This business is in the second position. So if you were to search late landscaping in Lakeland, Florida, you're more than likely going to click on this business because they're um, in the one of the top two positions. Again, um, I'm just going over a few more. Lawn service in Lakeland, Florida, that's also searched 150 times per month. Um, I could go through all of these, but I don't want to bore you. Keywords are extremely important and it's important to do good research when it comes to keywords and making sure you're incorporating these within your content. There's so much potential for clients for you here. If you honestly just add up all this volume, there's so much opportunity for growth for you and your business. So just to kind of help things make a little bit more sense for you, because I know this is kind of overwhelming probably. Um, and then the third and final thing I wanted to go over with you is what's called citations. So what a citation is, is pretty much your business name, address, and phone number blasted all over the internet. This is one of those other things that Google looks at when it comes to ranking your website. So of course, the more citations, the better, because you're getting your business out there. So it looks like your top competitor has 27 citations and your second top competitor has 26. So I generally recommend doubling what your top competitor has just to make sure you're absolutely beating them in that area. And that's one last thing, less thing you have to worry about. So I know that was kind of a lot. Um, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, again, just make sure you have a good amount of content on your page, get good quality links, and then also get citations as well. And that's just putting your business in different directories, social media platforms, things like that. So these are all things you can do on your own. Um, I would love to touch base with you if you have any questions for me at all. And if not, I appreciate your time and thank you so much for watching.